Good evening. The family of a mother of four whose cancer was repeatedly missed by doctors say she died in agony. Janine Harvey spent her last months in extreme pain, while her symptoms were attributed to everything from anxiety to back pain. Well, after her death, a post-mortem showed she'd been suffering from cancer all along. Her family are now considering legal action. Our health correspondent, Michaeli Paduano, has more details. For six months, Janine Harvey was never free from pain. For much of that time, the young mother of four was told that all she was suffering from was anxiety. Her five-year-old son, Frank, was telling us about when, when he hears mummy screaming, he lies on his bed and he bangs his head on the pillow. So he can't hear us screaming anymore. It was worse than what I've seen on films, when you see war films and them getting tortured. It was like a horror movie. It was like someone was doing something to her and we couldn't see it. Her treatment had started so well. Janine had previously had precancerous cells removed from her cervix. So when she went to a GP in January complaining of pain, a blood test was done. And then a scan showed a five centimetre lump. But when doctors operated at City Hospital Birmingham, they didn't find it. They woke her up that day and they said, good news, you haven't got cancer, the mass is totally gone, it must have been a cyst. Janine was referred to Sanwell Hospital where her problems were put down to nerve damage or back pain and so it went on. We really believe that the level of pain that you're, you're experiencing is because you're suffering with slight nerve pain from the discs and because you're so anxious you're magnifying the pain. It was a nurse back at City Hospital who first thought she had cancer. By then the tumour had grown to eight centimetres. The other key question that the family wants answered is why in the April, when they thought it might be cancer again, that they decided it was a rare form of cancer, sarcoma. If they'd done a test then and found out that it was cervical cancer, they could have started treatment here. Instead, it took six weeks to get her transferred to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Sandwell and West Birmingham Hospital said, we can understand the need for answers, and this is what our internal investigation process is about, examining what lessons there are to be learnt and making changes if necessary. By June at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham, an exploratory operation found it was not a sarcoma, but didn't find where the cancer first started. Janine was left to say goodbye to her four children. Her youngest, Ella, was only two. When she died, the family were told there was no need for a post-mortem, but they insisted it found Janine Harvey was suffering from cervical cancer all along. A 16-year-old son, Paul, has lost his mother and faith in doctors. If anything ever happened to anyone else in, the fa in my family or anything, how could I ever trust the doctors again? How could I ever trust what they're going to say again? Or, like, if anything ever happened to me, kind of thing. The family are now asking for an inquest to get to the truth. Michele Paduano, BBC Minutes Today.